All right, guys, so uh, just a quick video on the basics of replacing speakers in a car. Now, this happens to be an Acura MDX. Um, most cars are gonna be a little different, but they all share kind of similar um, steps um, as far as taking the door panel off and um, you know actually installing the speakers. So we're gonna go over that uh, right now. So one thing um, most vehicles, um, you know, have as far as speakers um, in the door is, you know, you got to take the door panel off. Um, so usually my first step to make things easier is I make sure the windows are down. Um, it's going to make it a lot easier. Um, usually there's going to be either a cap right here, which this one doesn't have um, as part of the panel, but usually it'll block like some sort of hidden screw or a lip. Um, in this case, that's not that here. Um, usually we have to figure out something with the door handle. Um, this one's fairly easy. Um, I'm, I'll show you. There's a little cover in here with two screws um, that's, that you can pop the cover off to get to the screws. Um, this piece right here pops off and then there are screws. And then the entire door panel is held in by little plastic clips all the way around. Um, and then once it comes off, you should be able to unplug you know the window connections um, a lot of vehicles this pops up uh, and then you can pop it up very easily uh, and then unplug them there um, but not all vehicles so you know if you, you were to start prying and it doesn't seem like it's come loose don't sometimes the actual panel is screwed up underneath um, like in this case um, but this one's fairly easy um, so like I said we'll go over popping those pieces off where the screws are popping the door panel off Okay, so I'll pop those pieces off. Um, you can see it's this right here. There's just a little clip, it pops out. And then of course, this piece was just held in a little clips, it pops out and it reveals uh, those two screws right there. And then there are screws in here and then right here. Um, so those four will pop out. Um, and then we'll go about popping the door panel and unplugging everything. Okay, so as far as popping the panel off, it's real simple. Um, like I said, there are plastic um, pop uh, clips um, all around. And you can usually just take a panel tool, pop them loose, and then pull the whole panel off. Um, so I'm going to work my way around, pop it off. Okay, so now that we've got the main panel off, and once you pop it off, you're gonna kind of tilt it, tilt it from the bottom and then lift off um, the lip um, that is by the window where it seals the window. Um, but as you can see, there are some connections. There's the electrical connections we're gonna have to reach down and pull. And then there's this piece right here. Um, it actually has its own little release. So I'm gonna release that. Uh, the whole piece will actually pop out and I'll show you when we're finished um, for the next step. Okay, so as you can see, cool thing about this car is this actually holds in uh, by clips uh, right here so you can actually just pop the whole assembly out instead of um, like some cars will actually have to release these little levers um, from their clips and pull it out from this um, but this one you don't and also cool thing about this is that it actually has one plug quick connect right here so you don't have to actually reach under and pull out the window switches and all these others like on most cars. So this is a little bit simpler, but same concept applies. Um, basically just disconnecting all the connections so that you can free the door panel. Um, now what we're left with is the actual factory speaker. It has a, a bracket, a spacer um, basically. Um, and then this one has three screws. So um, I can't remember on these new speakers or JBLs, we'll have to see um, if we're gonna reuse this or not, um, but we'll go over that here in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled the whole assembly out um, so you can kind of get a better look here. So, of course, you see his factory surrounds kind of busted. Um, it sounds, there's a lot of resistance. So I think this one in particular was blown. Um, but you can see, um, and one thing you'll want to do with the new speakers, uh, depending on how they're mounted, um, is uh, seal it with some sort of foam tape. Um, a lot of speakers come with them like these JBLs do. Um, uh, not all do, um, but you're just going to get the best seal and the best sound. Um, in this case, the factory 
brackets use this on the back um, and I guess it spaces it out from the glass so we'll probably have to reuse this um, in some way of course the new speakers are gonna have four um, they're not gonna be shaped so we'll fabricate something um, to get that going now of course the factory plug um, has a different plug-in so um, a lot of times you can use these adapters this is what I suggest so you don't have to splice in and you know look up wire colors um, but basically it's uh, identical it, you can't go wrong with your positive and negative um, wires there are different sizes on all aftermarket uh, speakers they're gonna be the same positive thicker and negative thinner um, and then it just plugs right into your factory wires um, no guessing no having to look at everything um, and you can put it back to stock if you ever want to sell the vehicle and keep the speakers so this is what we use um, but we'll get to figuring out how I want to mount the speakers and use this uh, here in a minute and we'll come back when all that's done okay so one very important thing um, that I do um, when installing speakers is um, you need to secure your wires now most speakers have like a little spot um, on the metal frame that you can use for this and there's a couple different routes you can go um, the reason being is you know if you notice on most of your vehicles you take the door panel off you know you remove the speaker um, the glass from your window is right behind this um, so what do you think happens if you have loose wires just kind of hanging not secured to the speaker and the window comes down or the regulator comes past it catches the wires rips the wires out you no longer have a working speaker you got to do everything over again best case it doesn't tear anything up so you want to make sure that they're secured to the speaker and out of the way um, so I just take a little zip tie um, like I said the these and most of them have a little mount there sometimes that doesn't work depending on which way the factory plug is or how you're grabbing the wires but uh, basic point is to do that now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, secure these in here um, I'm gonna use the uh, ceiling foam tape um, around uh, the speaker to make sure that it's nice and sealed um, then we're gonna screw it in um, I'm gonna use one of the factory holes and then it's gonna the way it lines up is in through this plastic so I'll be able to use longer screws um, to kind of get in because um, there's some flat plastic right underneath these little slots um, but everything lines up to where it's gonna work out pretty uh, well especially with that foam tape sealing it so I'll get that done get the whole assembly and we'll put it in the car and then uh, go from there all right guys so um we got it all, all mounted back up using the factory hardware um speakers mounted in the uh factory bracket it's mounted back in everything's sealed with some some foam tape um and pretty much that's it um uh, everything's just in reverse putting the door panel back on um what you're going to want to do is connect you know the electrical connections first while you're holding the door panel um, snap this back in while you're holding the door panel up level to it then you're going to want to take the top of it make sure that it sits right over this lip you know under here um, it's pretty obvious and once you slap that down you should just be able to push it up against the door make sure your plastic clips you know are sitting in the holes and then you can just really just kind of bang it you know every so couple of inches and you'll hear those clips pop back in and it'll be done um that's it um we'll come back just to show you the door panel back on as uh, we're finished up and okay we're all back together everything plugged in put the two screws in two screws in here pop the cover snapped right back in same with this just push it straight on the clips will come back on and uh it's all good now one thing i always say um, especially if this isn't something you do all the time um, you're going to want to test the sound before you put everything back together um, otherwise if it doesn't work you're taking it apart trying to figure out what happened if you you know one of the connections came loose as you were putting the speaker in or something um, but I've already tested it everything sounds good um, and then basically you do the same for the other side usually the passenger side is a little bit less complicated because um, there's less switches but that's it